Hi, Paul here from GenXMix.com with today's celebrations in a quick journey down memory lane for March 12, 2024. On National Plant a Flower Day, we celebrate the beauty and importance of flowers in our lives. It's a day dedicated to planting flowers, whether it be in gardens, parks, or pots on windowsills. The day encourages people to connect with nature, promote environmental awareness, and beautify their surroundings. Participating in National Plant a Flower Day can be a fun and rewarding activity for individuals and communities alike. Planting flowers not only adds color and fragrance to our environment, but also provides essential habitats for pollinators like bees and butterflies. Additionally, gardening has been shown to have numerous mental health benefits, such as reducing stress and anxiety while promoting relaxation and mindfulness. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or new to planting, National Plant a Flower Day is the perfect opportunity to get your hands dirty and contribute to the beauty of nature. So grab your gardening tools, select your favorite flowers, and let's celebrate the joy of gardening together. It's National Girl Scout Day. Founded in 1912 by Juliet Gordon Lowe, the Girl Scouts has empowered millions of girls and young women to build confidence, character, and leadership skills. Today, Girl Scouts across the country commemorate their commitment to service, sisterhood, and personal growth. National Girl Scout Day is also an opportunity to recognize the contribution of adult volunteers and supporters who play a vital role in guiding and mentoring Girl Scouts. Through activities such as camping, community service projects, and earning merit badges, Girl Scouts learn valuable life skills and develop a sense of responsibility to their communities. On National Baked Scallop Day, we celebrate the culinary wonder that is scallops in all of their baked glory. Some might say they're the shrimp of the mollusk world, but don't let their small size fool you. Scallops pack a flavorful punch that rival even the fanciest of seafood dishes. So whether you're a seasoned seafood connoisseur or just someone looking to add a little pizzazz to your dinner routine, National Baked Scallop Day is the perfect excuse to indulge in these savory treasures from the sea. Just be careful not to eat them all in one sitting. After all, you wouldn't want to be shellfish with your scallops. Some celebrities that influenced or entertained us Generation Xers celebrating March 12th birthdays include Graham Coxon, the guitarist for the band Blur, who is turning 55. In addition to his work with Blur, Coxon has released several solo albums where he not only plays all of the instruments, he also does the cover art. Actor Aaron Eckert is turning 56. I'm a little embarrassed to say that I didn't recognize his name when researching today's birthdays but certainly knew him from his picture. Eckhart has been in some of my favorite movies over the years, from Slaughter of the Innocents in 1993 to The Core in 2003, Thank You for Smoking and Dark Knight in 2005 and 2008, and playing President Asher in the recent films Olympus Has Fallen and London Has Fallen with co-star Gerard Butler. London Has Fallen is streaming this month on Netflix. Steve Harris was born in London, England today in 1956. Harris is the bass player and songwriter for the band Iron Maiden. Julia Campbell was born today in 1962 in Huntsville, Alabama. Julia has appeared on an episode or two of just about every TV show since the late 80s and has had recurring roles on Santa Barbara, Herman's Head, and Dexter. On the big screen, she's most known for playing Chrissy in Rami and Michelle's High School Reunion. Singer-songwriter James Taylor is turning 76. If you think, James Taylor, wasn't he from the 70s? The answer would be yes. A lot of what we know James Taylor for is his work in the 70s, like Fire and Rain or You've Got a Friend. Taylor recorded through the 90s and continues releasing new albums and is even touring today. The album October Road was released in 2002 and was nominated for a Best Male Vocal Grammy, and his 2015 album, Before This World, would go to number one on the 200 album chart. Since 1970, every album Taylor has released has sold at least one million copies, making Taylor one of the top-selling artists of all time. James Taylor and his all-star band tour will be coming to the U.S. stages in May. The band Run DMC's first single, It's Like That, was released today in 1983. The 2007 remix version of the song would reach number one in several countries and break into the top 20 on the U.S. dance charts. In 2008, VH1 ranked It's Like That 
as number 40 on the top 100 greatest hip-hop songs ever. Patti Smith, R.E.M., and Van Halen were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame today in 2007. Today in 1988, Rick Astley's hit, Never Gonna Give You Up, reached number one on the Hot 100. The song's popularity would surge again 20 years later when the online trend called Rick Rolling would send millions of unsuspecting viewers to the music video. The first episode of The Chris Isaac Show premiered tonight on Showtime in 2001. The show features the comedic antics of a struggling rock star, played by Chris Isaac. Richard Pryor, live on Sunset Strip, was released today in 1982. With plenty of adult language, drug references, and even a story about setting himself on fire while freebasing, this movie is not for kids. It was the highest-grossing concert film of its time, bringing in over $36 million. Baby Geniuses with Kathleen Turner and Christopher Lloyd and Wing Commander starring Freddie Prince Jr. and Matthew Lillard opened in U.S. theaters today in 1999. On March 12, 2001, Survivor contestant Stacey Stillman announced that she was suing CBS, claiming she can prove the show is rigged if courts will waive the $5 million NDA she signed when joining the show. The King of Queens, Boston Public, and Everybody Loves Raymond was on primetime TV, and the song Stutter by Joe was number one on Billboard's Hot 100. I hope you enjoyed today's show. If so, consider sharing Gen X Mix today with your like-minded friends and coworkers on social media. I'm Paul from GenXMix.com, and I look forward to sharing more celebrations and taking another quick trip down memory lane with you tomorrow on Gen X Mix today.